despairrepair.com. Hi everyone and welcome to despairrepair.com. In this video we're going to show you uh, what you should do in case the key won't turn in the ignition. We're going to show you this repair on a Skoda Fabia although the principle applies to almost all cars. What you'll need for this simple repair is either a can of WD-40 spray or a oil can for lubricating. Before we start, uh, I just want to uh, say something about the cause of the uh, problem with a stuck uh, ignition lock, okay? I hope you don't mind the angle, uh, I just wanted you to um, be able to see better what you're supposed to do. Uh, the main cause of a stuck uh, ignition lock is the ignition cylinder itself. That's the small metal part here. And uh, it works on the same principle as the uh, lock on perhaps your door on the door on your house. Okay, so there are certain parts inside which wear out over time. When you put the key inside the ignition lock, it's supposed to move those parts and then you're able to turn the lock without a problem okay uh, if the ignition lock is faulty the ignition cylinder <clears throat> is faulty uh, then this fix probably won't uh, won't help in that case you'll have to take off the airbag have to take off the whole steering wheel the plastic trim and whatever it's a complicated fairly complicated uh, repair a second thing you should look before you start this repair is the key itself okay uh, keys over time, especially in older cars, uh, tend to bend a bit, okay, get worn out, can even break, you know, that's also a common case. So uh, the ignition lock may not be the problem, the key may be the problem. So make a short inspection uh, if the key is okay. Also, one more thing you should try before uh, trying this repair is, of course, once you insert the key, budge the uh, steering wheel left and right and try to turn the key okay perhaps the locking mechanism inside can be the problem so give it a budge left to right and then try to turn the key one of the most common causes for a ignition lock that won't turn is dirt and filth getting inside the ignition cylinder okay uh, this happens uh, because uh, the key is inserted inside the uh, ignition lock thousands upon thousands of times while using the car, okay? Over the key, the dirt and filth get inside the ignition and uh, block the mechanism inside, okay? So if you've seen that the key is okay, if, you've, if you don't want to t pick apart, you know, the steering wheel and the airbags and the plastic trimming and else, this is the first thing you should do. Take a can of the WD-40 spray and put the small straw on it, okay? The point here is to put some WD-40 inside the ignition key. So, I hope you can see this. Put the uh, straw of the WD-40 right here and spray it a bit. Okay. Like that two or three maybe short sprays is enough okay don't overdo it don't flood the ignition lock with wd-40 uh, that's bad for the whole mechanism so just two or three short sprays inside after that put the key inside like this and sort of work it around like this okay if you have to budge the steering wheel a bit and if everything is okay it should start to work like this if you want to you can take the WD-40 spray and put some on the key like this okay like this also if you get some more just you know sort of shake it off and then put it inside again okay and try okay the main point here is to get WD-40 spray inside the ignition lock in the parts that are supposed to move and you can get some more uh, over, over the key. If you happen to not have WD-40 spray around the house, uh, the second type of lubricant you can use is 
engine oil, simple engine oil, okay, or any kind of oil which you can lubricate uh, machine parts, okay. So uh, you take a can like this for lubricating, and uh, I wouldn't recommend to put the oil inside the uh, ignition lock with, like with the WD-40, rather lubricate the key. Like this, okay, like this. Just put a drop, okay? Don't overdo it and go around the key like this, okay? Now put the key, put it inside and sort of go uh, in and out like this to get oil inside, uh, inside the ignition lock like this. And then again, go left and right so the point is to get the oil inside the ignition lock like this i would recommend to repeat the procedure at least three times so a thin film of oil go inside the ignition lock work it around and then repeat so there you have it a short and simple repair that you can certainly do on your own so the main point of the repair is to lubricate the uh, ignition lock cylinder. I did this repair on this Coda about a year ago and still serves me well, so it's well worth the try. So once you get a stuck ignition lock, try this repair first before visiting a mechanic or picking apart everything around if you, ha if you have uh, more experience. So I hope this repair helps you, hope this video helps you. If you find the time, visit us at despairrepair.com where you can find more useful tips around cars, maintenance and driving. Thanks for watching. We hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please click the subscribe button. For more information on how to do checkups and simple repairs around the car, be sure to visit us at despairrepair.com.